The stormy night raged outside the Sanchez Smith's residence, setting the stage for an unsettling escapade. Lightning flickered across the sky, casting shadows on the walls of the garage where Rick Sanchez, the eccentric scientist, and his grandson, Morty Smith, were tinkering with a peculiar-looking portal generator. All right, Morty, listen up. We've got a new dimension to explore, Rick declared, his eyes gleaming with excitement. Morty, the ever-reluctant adventurer, nervously followed his grandfather through the swirling vortex. As they emerged on the other side, a cold shiver ran down Morty's spine. The dimension was an eerie landscape, bathed in a sickly green glow, the air thick with an unsettling fog. The ground beneath their feet seemed to writhe as if it was alive. Unfazed, Rick chuckled. Looks like we stumbled upon a real nightmare, Morty. Ain't this something? The duo pressed on, curiosity masking the unease that lingered in the air. Unbeknownst to them, the portal that brought them had vanished, leaving them stranded in this malevolent realm. Morty's unease escalated into panic. Uh, Rick, I, I, I think we might be in trouble here. Where's, where's the way back? Morty stammered. Rick, usually the mastermind behind their escapes, furrowed his brow. He fiddled with his portal gun, pressing buttons and pulling levers, but to no avail. The device remained silent. Damn it, Morty, it's not working. Looks like we're stuck here. The gravity of the situation sunk in. Morty's eyes widened in fear as the whispers around them intensified. The green sky pulsed with an unnatural energy. What do you mean? What do you, what do you mean stuck, Rick? We always find a way out, right? Rick's usual confidence wavered, replaced by a rare uncertainty. Morty, I've been to countless dimensions, but this one, it's different. There's something off about it. We might be in over our heads here. As they ventured further, the dimension seemed to shift and contort around them. Shadows danced on the edges of their vision, and the whispers evolved into chilling laughter. The hours turned into days, and days and into an eternity. Desperation set in, and the terrifying reality dawned upon them. There was no escape. One night, as they huddled for warmth, the green sky morphed into a grotesque face, mocking their futile attempts to leave. The ground convulsed, trapping them further. The laughter grew louder, echoing through the air like a haunting symphony. Rick, we're gonna, we're gonna die here, aren't we? Morty whispered, his voice trembling. Rick, a man who had faced countless dangers across the multiverse, couldn't bring himself to meet Morty's gaze. The inevitability of their fate hung heavy in the air. Yeah, Morty, looks like this is the end of the line for us, Rick muttered, his bravado replaced by a somber tone. As the dimension consumed them, the laughter reached a deafening crescendo. The last thing they heard was a mocking voice of the dimension, proclaiming their eternal imprisonment. The portal gun, now a useless relic, lay abandoned on the shifting ground. Back on Earth, the Sanchez family grew increasingly worried. Days turned into weeks, and Rick and Morty were nowhere to be found. Beth couldn't shake the feeling that something was terribly wrong. Summer shared her concern while Jerry tried to downplay the situation. They're probably just off on another one of Rick's crazy adventures. They'll be back when they're back, Jerry insisted, attempting to mask his own anxiety. But as the weeks turned into months, the family's worry deepened. Beth and Summer scoured dimensions using a spare portal gun they found in Rick's garage, hoping to find a trace of their missing family members, yet every portal led to a dead end, leaving them more perplexed than ever. As the reality of their absence settled in, Beth's worry transformed into grief. She clung to the hope that Rick and Morty were out there, somewhere, navigating the vast multiverse, unaware of the pain they left behind. In the terrifying dimension, Rick and Morty were trapped in a perpetual nightmare. Their futile attempts to escape only deepened their grasp of the malevolent force that bound them. The laughter of the dimension became their constant companion, a relentless reminder of their hopelessness. Days turned into years, and the duo aged in the unyielding grip of the dimension. Their once vibrant spirits withered away, replaced by a somber acceptance of their fate. The mocking face in the green sky transformed into a twisted reflection of their despair. On Earth, Beth, Summer, and Jerry aged as well, their lives forever marked by the absence of Rick and Morty. The house became a haunted sanctuary, filled with memories of the adventures and chaos that once defined their lives. In the end, the dimension claimed its victims, and Rick and Morty's last adventure became a tale of eternal torment. The portal gun remained untouched in the garage, a silent witness to the tragedy that befell the Sanchez family. And so, in the vastness of the multiverse, the laughter of the dimension echoed, a haunting reminder that even the most brilliant minds could succumb to the terrors that lurk beyond the veil of reality.